Alright, so boom, what's going on, bro? Welcome back to another installment of Edutainment. According to reports out of Nashville, Tennessee, we have another incident, 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 example of PVP loan fraud, potential fraud. The article states, and I quote, IG model launches GoFundMe to help repay PPP loan. Quote unquote, help me, the feds are after me. A popular Instagram model allegedly set up a GoFundMe page to help her pay back a PPP loan, according to a new GoFundMe page. <clears throat> the page, which MTO uh, News confirmed exists, is looking to raise $20,000 and was started by a woman named Lakeisha Golden. The page posted a photo of pretty IG model along with the caption, I got 20K PPP loan now. The feds are after me. Please help. I can't do jail. I got three kids that need me. <laughs> if you're not aware already, PPP loan essentially is essentially a business loan given to small businesses with less than I think about 500 employees to help them stay afloat during the whole coronavirus DVOC 19 uh, scenario that happened last year and it's still happening now. So that tells me two things. Either you don't have a business that's actually making you money, right? You just, it was, it was a fraudulent application. And, or two, you had no intention of paying the loan back to begin with. You had, you had, you had no actual, maybe you do have a business, but there's no foreseeable future of it actually paying back the loan. Side note, right? <laughs> this is why when it comes to lending out money to friends, family, whoever, you never lend out money that you are not willing to lose. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! So if someone asks you for $40, give them $40. Give them 30, give them 20, give them 10, give them five. Give them whatever amount you feel comfortable with never, ever, ever, ever getting back. Sean Ball, are you listening to me? If anybody asks you for money, don't give them money at all or give them the, the, the amount that they ask or a lesser amount, but do it with the intention of not getting the money back. And not only will the friendship or the relationship still, you know, be maintained, but also you yourself will not burden yourself with the task of having to ask them all the time and creating an awkward situa situation between you and said person, right? <laughs> so she definitely did not have a business, that's one, or there was no way her business was going to pay that, pay that money back in some way or some form or fashion. The article goes on to say, the page has already raised more than $4,000. <laughs> you know, I would love to be a man and be in, be in this type of scenario and, st and get and just get some help. You know, there was another situation I think in uh, Atlanta. I think I'm not sure if that page was fake or not, but I think it was real. But essentially, some uh, a woman had essentially planned a trip to the All Star Game, the NBA All Star Game, and went there, but didn't have enough money to get back. I think she, her place is in, is in New York, right? She also set up a GoFundMe. <laughs> I just I would love I would love to see the the response that would be if uh, if a man did the same thing as the girl in the nba all-star game that went to the all-star game and then the man here now <laughs> that's right that already raised four thousand dollars <laughs> four thousand dollars i mean you're almost there you're um a quarter of the way there not bad not bad um again a ppp a ppp loan is a small business administrated back loan it helps businesses keep their workforce employed during the COVID-19 crisis. The Paycheck Protection Program, PPP loan, is a loan designed to, help to, to provide a direct incentive for small businesses to keep their workers on payroll. The program is designed for employers with, with 500 employees or less. This includes sole proprietorships, independent contractors, and the self-employed, private nonprofits, and veterans organizations. And it does know that some borrowers may be eligible for PPP loan forgiveness. I believe um, if you are, if you give half of it or a small portion of it by a certain time period, they forgive the rest of it. But I guess she's trying to <laughs> uh, quicken that process. And then it goes on to say, unfortunately, applying for a PPP loan was relatively quick and easy. And many unscrupulous, mm, new word, I'm gonna add that to my vocabulary. 
unscrupulous people fraudulently applied for the money. The Justice Department has brought, has brought criminal charges against at least 209 individuals in 119 cases related to Paycheck Protection Program fraud. Since banks and other lenders began processing loan applications on behalf of the Small Business Administration on April 3rd, 2020. And these cases are just beginning. Oh yes. <laughs> I remember another one. Um, I think it was I think it wasn't PPP loan fraud, but it was EDD fraud. I forget the scenario, but essentially he made a whole music video detailing his uh his uh scamming endeavors. So sweet, we had 1.5 land this week. That land transaction with me. I'm trying to swipe this bitch until it free. I get the swiping for EVD. Go to the bank, get a stack at least. Fix it here better than selling peas. I made some red that I couldn't believe. 10 cars, then 200 bonds. I got a shot at the Donald Trump. I get my swipe. Says a rapper who bragged in a music video about getting rich from an unemployment scam is now facing federal charges. According to a criminal complaint, 31 year old Fontrell Antonio Baines exploited the pandemic unemployment assistance provision of the federal coronavirus act. He applied for more than $1.2 million in jobless benefits. Federal officials say right now he lives in Hollywood Hills, and in a video, he bragged he's going to get stacks of these while holding up envelopes from EDD. A second man in the video raps, quote, you gotta sell cocaine, I just file a claim. If convicted, Baines faces up to 22 years in federal prison. How many years ago, Gil? Shit, I think like about 10. Uh, Hold on. 15. <laughs> Violation. <laughs> Probate. I think this, again, it just goes to show, yeah, whatever you see on social media, hey, take it with a grain of salt. You know, like salt bay? Take it with a grain of salt. Many grains of salt, because, man, okay, let's go, let's go to the actual page here, right? Her actual GoFundMe page. She now has $4,188. No, she's uh, <laughs> going up there. And the goal is $20,000. Uh, she says, and I quote, I got 20K PPP loans, now the feds are after me. Please help. I can't do jail. I got three kids that need me. <laughs> Did you not think about that when you applied? Send all the nations to my cash app. <laughs> my GoFundMe is on the whole cash app. <laughs> oh no, oh, her, her GoFundMe is on hold. <laughs> her GoFundMe is on hold. trying to monetize it without i guess without um GoFundMe taking their cut and then yesterday she updated the the the, the comment she says keep the, the keep the donations coming y'all my kids need me out here for real, for real. <laughs> every day people scamming we got the, the fake gurus the regular people everybody out here trying to get a bag you know everybody trying to get a bag damn man it says 150 people just donated. What is this? What is this? What's, what's going on, bro? What is going on? <laughs> Takeaway is um things are not what they seem. You know, people are always not finessing the system. It comes down to this: finesse or be finessed. But finesse uh legally, finesse with some dignity, with some honorability finesse with some honor okay when <laughs> you finesse finesse with honor so not only did she scam the government but she's now potentially scamming us too because who knows if she's actually gonna pay the pay the government uh the ppp loan that she initially uh fraudulently applied for <laughs> hey yo <laughs> i'm out bro <laughs> oh wait hold up as always it doesn't feed you don't water it and too much of any good thing is good for nothing <laughs> How you looking today? Stay with me. I'm doing more, saying less, and keeping that same energy. No cap. Flip the script. I'm out. <laughs> Deuces. Bop. Red nose, got ways wide fin. Fell in love straight away like it's Love Island. Drop still me and I'm still smiling. Might move to Dubai all in good timing. I'm like.